guys what's up it's tuesday it's almost 3 p.m um i was gonna start the vlog yesterday but i ended up having a meeting for school that lasted way longer than i thought it was going to and so i just wasn't able to film but i'm here to start it today so let's get into the books that i am planning to read this week so first i'm going to continue on with teresa of the new world by Sharman ab russell i am currently on page 125 so i'm almost done with this book i have about 50 pages left i'm not gonna say that i'm loving it so far i'm enjoying it as the fact if it's like it's a good story it's just not turning out to be my favorite and i'm not enjoying it as much as i hoped i would but i am going to finish it hopefully this week probably this week i only have 50 pages left if i don't finish it tonight i will finish it tomorrow and then i will move on to the last pages of words of radiance that i have left i have about a little over 100 pages left of this so I'll be finishing that after I finish this. This is the second book in the Stormlight Archive by Brandon Sanderson. And I loved the first one and I'm loving the second one. I listened to the first part of it on audio and I my audiobook got returned to my library before I was able to finish it because it is so long. It is a brick, but I will be reading the rest of it physically and yeah i'll be picking that up and then if i finish that i'll be moving on to my reread of the secret garden by francis hodgson burnett and i'm super excited to read this again um i'm super excited to read this edition of it it has beautiful pictures in it and the cover is stunningly beautiful it's gorgeous and yeah i'll be reading that and last but not least my audiobook for the week is still sabriel by garth nix i am about 90 pages into this so i still have quite a bit of a way to go i'm enjoying it so far it is a little confusing but i'm starting to kind of understand what's going on and i will be continuing this on my commute to and from campus this week so yeah that is everything i plan to read for this week um i am currently working on some homework i have a few things i have to get done and then i will be picking this up tonight and hopefully finishing it if not i'll finish it tomorrow but if i do finish it tonight then i will talk to you then if not i will talk to you tomorrow but yeah hey guys what's up um sorry i look like a mess i just got out of the shower but it is 11 40 p.m on tuesday and i just finished Teresa of the New World by Sharman App Russell. This book is about a girl named Teresa who is half Spanish and half Native American. Her dad is um, Cabeza de Vaca and he was shipwrecked on the New World and he ended up having her and in the middle of the night he decides that he wants to try to go on this quest to find Spain again and so he basically takes her in the middle of the night when she's like five years old away from her mother and they set off across the world to try to walk to Spain um, he ends up meeting up with these three other Spaniards um, on his way and they get to this village where they're taken in and the main guy's like oh my goodness the famous the famous conquistadors have returned and so he gives them horses and he's going to send them on a boat back to spain but teresa is left behind because of her native american heritage and so she ends up figuring out that she has magical powers she can talk to the earth and to animals which is really weird but that's what she can do and she meets this boy and this horse and they form their own kind of like team as she tries to basically outrun the plagues that are going through uh native american villages from the spanish settlers and basically killing all the children and everyone so she's running away from that across the desert with the help of her newfound friend and the little boy and the horse so i gave this book a two out of five stars i didn't really enjoy it it was a good story 
but the writing to me was a really childish and so it was like hard to get through and also the story didn't really interest me a lot and so I just found it like hard to pick up because I just didn't feel like it. It wasn't something that I was really invested in. So yeah, again, good story, um, but I just it just wasn't for me. So I it is late, so I will be going to bed. I'm not going to read anything else tonight, but tomorrow I will be picking up the last um, little bit of this. I have about a hundred and some change pages left. This is Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson. It is book two in the Stormlight Archives. Um, these books are amazing. I loved the first one. I love this one so far. Um, I read the first part of it on audio. Uh, I will be reading the last part of it physically and I'm really excited to finish this. I left off on a part where they're in like a major battle and so it was kind of hard to leave off that spot but I did and now I'm excited to get back into it and really see what happens but yeah I am going to go to bed I have two class no tomorrow's Wednesday I have four classes tomorrow actually I think yeah I have three classes in one lab tomorrow so tomorrow is a really busy day as far as school goes but I should be able to read some of this when I get back but yeah, I'm going to go to bed and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye! Hey guys, so it is 5 p.m. on Wednesday. Um, I had a break in between my classes and I just wanted to check in and let y'all know that I just finished the book. So I just finished listening to Sabriel by Garth Nix. Um, this book started out really confusing for me. Um, I couldn't really understand what was going on, but then the farther I got into it, the more I understood it, and I really, I enjoyed it. I did give it three out of five stars, because like I said, it had that really confusing element at first, and, but I really enjoyed it. I like it. I'm a big fan of fantasy, so really any fantasy, I'm gonna enjoy most of it. So I will be, um purchasing the rest of the series eventually. It's on my list of things to, of books to buy. So yeah, I will be reading the rest of this series in the future. I did enjoy it. It has a fun little romance in here. I liked the magic system. Um, I really like the cat. If y'all have read this, you know who I'm talking about, but I love the cat. The cat is amazing. So yeah, I finished this. And next, I will be picking up on audio Anne of Green Gables. This is on my October TBR, so it is a good thing that my library had this available for an audiobook. Um, I don't know much about this other than it's a classic, and it's about a little girl who is adopted by this family who was expecting a little boy. So yeah, that's literally all I know about it. Um, I hope I enjoy it. It is a classic. Um, but yeah, I will be listening to this. So that's it for my little update. Uh, I have another class that starts in about 30 minutes, so I will be doing that. And then hopefully I haven't got to read any of Words of Radiance yet by Brandon Sanderson today, but hopefully I'll be picking that up later tonight after my class ends. And yeah, I'll update y'all later. Bye! Hey guys! So it is 11.15 on, uh, on Thursday night, it's almost Friday morning. Um, I am on my break in between shifts at work. I'm about to actually go in for my second shift in like 20, 10, 10 ish minutes. But I wanted to update y'all because I just finished reading Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson. Um, I'm gonna put it down because there's people walking around in the parking lot and I don't want to look weird so um I just want to say that I love this series so much so this is book two in the Stormlight Archive by Brandon Sanderson and if any of you know me in person you know that I love these books but now you're all gonna know that I love these books because these books are amazing. This series is perfect. 
there is absolutely nothing wrong with this series at like I have no f I have no complaints about it at all like I can't there's no way for me to even criticize this like it's just amazing Brandon Sanderson writes this series beautifully you love every single character they all are so well written they all build their personalities throughout each book really well and they change for the better every single time and it's just it's beautiful how much thought he put into every single character individually and their backstories and then the world that he built is so amazing like I personally this world is not sunshine and rainbows this world is torn by war and there's these evil spirits and there's good spirits and they're possessing people basically and there's magical beings and there's non-magical beings there's slavery there's politics there's like a whole lot of high princes that are all fighting to like rule the kingdom and they're all trying to take each other down and so this is no way sunshine and rainbows like this is not a good place to be at the moment but man Every time I read this book, read these books, I want to be in this world. I want to live here and I want to go there and that's where I want to be. I just want to be in this story. I want to be with these people. Like, it's just so immersive and the way he writes it is beautiful. Like, I think Brandon Sanderson is probably my favorite author ever and I have not personally read any of his other story, any of his other series yet. They are all on my list. I want to get to them so badly, but I started with this one. I actually started it because of Reagan over at Peru's Project. I'll link her um, channel right up here somewhere. But um, yeah, it's amazing. I started reading it because of her, and I think everybody, if you are a fan of fantasy, read this book. It is high adult fantasy, so I don't recommend it for any children. And if you're not a fantasy person, this is not the book for you because it is a high fantasy and it is a brick. Every book is over a thousand pages in this series. I know if you get the UK editions, they come in two parts. So each book is around like 500 something pages, like in between 500 and 600. So some people find it a lot easier to read the UK editions of this series because it seems shorter because each book is broken up into two parts, but either way you do it, just you need to read the series because it is amazing and you haven't lived unless you've read it and I think you should read it because everybody's gonna love it and it's beautiful and it just needs, it just needs so much more love and so much more appreciation. I mean, it already gets tons of appreciation, but man, it deserves it. But yeah, um... Everybody go read this, basically, is what I'm trying to say. There's three books out in this series right now. The fourth one comes out sometime later this fall. Um, I'm not sure how many he's going to actually write within the whole series, but it is continuing past four, so there'll be more books coming out in it for a while. Um, but yeah, go read this. Um, so, I'm about to head to work, or back to work. I'm about to go in, so that was my quick update on this. Um, I'm going to get home tonight, and then I'm not going to read anymore when I get home. I'm going to go to bed. But tomorrow I will start my reread of The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson's Burnett. So, yeah, I will be starting that tomorrow. And, yeah, I'll see you then. Bye! Hey guys, what's up? It is... 5.37 on Friday. It's Friday afternoon and I am in my car. I'm waiting for my shift to start. Uh, but I went to a bookstore earlier today and I picked up some books. So I figured I would do a little mini haul for you guys. So yeah, we're going to do that while I'm waiting for my shift to start. So first I picked up some bookmarks that I thought were super cute. So the first one says BYOB, bring your own book, you never know when you may need it. And I just thought that was perfect and I needed it, so I got that one. And then I also got one that says 
Leave Me Alone I'm reading right now and it's got this cute little cat on it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a cat and the cat is laying on a book that said that's called The Tale of Two Kitties and that's just so cute and it's adorable. I also really like this color. It's really pretty. But yeah, those were the bookmarks I picked up. Now let's get into the books. So the first book I got was Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetius. So this follows a girl named Lena who lives in Lithuania in 1941. So she lives with her mom and her little brother and her dad is in, act in a prison camp actually. And one night, um, they hear a knock on their door and they go and answer it and it's the Soviet police and they take her, her mom, and her brother and they are taking them to exile in Siberia and so that's all I know about this. I'm really excited to, excited to read it. I love Ruta Sepeti's writing. Um, she writes my favorite historical fictions ever so yeah I'm excited to have this one. And the next book I picked up was The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. So I don't really know much about this book. Um, I didn't know about it before I saw it on the shelves at the bookstore. So I'm just going to read you the synopsis because that's what really sold me. So I'm just going to read that for you. So it says, a diabolic is ruthless. A diabolic is powerful. A diabolic has a single task, kill, in order to protect the person you've been created for, nothing else. For Nemesis, that person is Sidonia, her heir to the Galactic Senate. The two grew up side by side, and there's no one Nemesis wouldn't kill to keep her safe. But when the power-mad Emperor summons Sidonia to the Imperial Court as a hostage, there is only one way for Nemesis to protect Sidonia. She must become her. No, now one of the galaxy's most dangerous weapons is masquerading in a world of corrupt politicians and two-faced Senator's children, and Nemesis must find within herself the one thing she's been told she doesn't have. Humanity. With the Empire beginning to fracture and Rebellion looming, that could be the one thing that saves her and the Empire itself. So this is a sci-fi book and it just sounds so good, so gripping, so thrilling, and I cannot wait to pick this up. So the third book I picked up is Midnight Star by Marie Lu. This is the third and final book in the Young Elite series. Um, I'm not going to tell you anything about it because spoilers but I will say that this is a fantasy series following a group of kids and it's really good I love her writing I also like her um, legend series I think it has legend in it prodigy and the third one I think it's called champion but yeah I like her books they're really great I've read the first two in the series I think I gave them both in between three and four stars but I am excited to get to finish the series finally and so I picked this one up today as well. So the next three books that I picked up I'm going to mention together because they are all three part of the same series and that is Flawless, Perfect, and Unbelievable by Sarah Shepard. So these are book two, three, and four in the Pretty Little Liars series. Um, I watched the show before I started reading the books, and I absolutely loved the show. It was my favorite thing in the world for a total of, like, four years. Like, the four years over I watched it, it was, like, the only thing I wanted to do ever was watch the show. And it's so great. But the books are a lot different than the show, but I still love them also. It follows a group of girls who's, like... They're like the quote-unquote mean girls of the school, and their main leader goes missing during the summer. And she goes missing, and it's like three years later, and they find her body, and they're trying to figure out, like, who killed her, and the girls are trying to, like, get over their grief and, like, let her go. And then all of a sudden, these creepy messages start popping up from this person known as A, and they're trying to figure out who A is and what A wants and yeah it's definitely a mystery thriller if you get spooked easily like if you're gonna read it definitely deals with someone's like basically stalking them so if you are someone who's going to read that and then freak out at every little noise I would not recommend this book 
but if you like mystery thrillers teenage girl angst um drama this is a great contemporary read and i recommend this series and the last book i picked up today i am so excited to read and i've been looking for it ever since i heard about it i heard about it on um Haley in bookland's channel i'll link it right up here above but um she went on and on about this book and this series and how much she absolutely loved it and i decided that i wanted to give it a try and that is wolf by wolf by ryan grodden so this is a story that takes place in a alternate reality from the one we live in so this is a story that takes place after world war ii but the nazis won and so every year to celebrate that the nazis won there's this huge like motorcycle race and this girl enters she can change her appearance and so she enters the race as someone else because the winner gets to go gets to meet hitler in person get close to him and so she becomes someone else to enter the race so that she can win and assassinate Hitler when she gets to meet him. So this just sounds amazing. It has, there's three books in this series out right now. I know one of them, I think the sequel is called Blood for Blood. And then the third one is something that has to do with iron. I think it's like iron for iron or something like that. But this sounds amazing. It sounds like a thrill ride the whole way through it's supposed to really keep you on the edge of your seat the whole way through there's a lot of things that can go wrong in this plan obviously and so i'm sure it's just going to be a great read something that i'm not going to want to put down and i'm super excited to have this in my hands those are all the things i picked up from the bookstore today um i still have a little bit before i go into my shift so i will probably read some of the secret garden um and see how much of that i can get through before i have to go in so yeah back to the regular vlog now hey guys so it is bright about to be four o'clock in the morning on saturday so I just got home from work. I'm really tired. I'm about to go to bed. Um, I just wanted to give you all a quick update. I'm about 50 pages into The Secret Garden right now. Um, I don't feel like I really need to give you all that much of an update about that because it's, if you've watched my channel before, you probably know it's my favorite book of all time. And as of right now, that's not changing. So it's definitely a five star and it's amazing and that's my feelings on it. So yeah, I've been reading that. Um, as far as later today, I probably won't get very much, if any, reading done. Probably not any. I have a lot of plans. I have lunch with my aunt and then I have a couple errands to run and then I'm actually going to watch my little sister's soccer game she's playing about an hour away from where i am and so i get to i'm driving in there to go see her play so i might actually film some of that and put it in here but yeah i've got that and then i'm going straight to work from there so i don't really have a break where i can get reading done so i think the next chance i'll have at reading will be either my break in between shifts tomorrow night or just not until Sunday. So we'll see how that goes. I may or may not film uh, some of our soccer game tomorrow. It just depends on, I don't know, it just depends. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come and give you all that quick update. I'm reading The Secret Garden. It's amazing as usual. And I will see you later. Bye. Ladies, yes, and this is where our defense is. Here they come, they're coming to boot it in. Woo! Good thing they missed it. Go, Avery! Go, Avery! Go, Avery! Way to hustle, Avery! Stay with it! Stay with it!
Hey guys, so it's like almost 5 o'clock on Saturday and I'm with my little sister who just got done with her game. Say hi. Hi. And we're going to eat some food before she has to go back home and I have to go to work. So yeah, I just wanted to stop in and give y'all that little update. See you later. Hey guys, so it is 7.45 on Sunday night. And I just wanted to stop in and let y'all know that I finished my reread of The Secret Garden. Um, it was gloriously amazing, just like always. So I finished that. I won't be reading anything else tonight. I'm probably going to wait until tomorrow. That way, the end of this vlog kind of wraps up with me finishing a book and it just wraps up nicely. But I will be starting tomorrow The Good Girl. I don't remember who it's by. It's in the other room right now. But, um, yeah, so that's going to be it for this vlog. I will come in tomorrow and film and show you all of the books that I managed to read this week. But, yeah, talk to you later. Hey guys, it is Monday afternoon and I just wanted to come in and wrap up this vlog and talk about everything that I was able to read this week. So, to start off with, I finished Teresa of the New World by Sherman F. Russell. I gave this book, I think it was a, either a two or, I think I gave it like a two and a half to three stars. Um, the story wasn't something that was really gripping for me. I didn't love it. I didn't want to, I didn't really want to pick it up. It wasn't something that made me like continuously want to re be reading it. But it is a story that is probably good for younger kids. It's about a girl who is half Native American, half Spanish, and she is left in the New World by her dad because of her Native Americanness, and she basically has to find her own way back to where she came from, and it's, it's a good story. It just wasn't for me. And then I finished listening to Sabriel by Garth Nix on audiobook. This book started out really confusing for me. I couldn't quite understand the world, but as I got through it, it actually turned out to be a really fun read. I gave it four stars. It's I'm going to continue with this series. I really liked it. I really liked the magic system in here. I liked some of the characters. I liked the cat, and I liked the romance that it had in here. But yeah, it was a really good book. And then I finished the last about 150 pages of Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson. Love this book. Five out of five stars. It's I'm so ready to pick up the third book in this series. So I will definitely be continuing on with this. I loved it. I think everybody needs to read this series. It is the Stormlight Archive by Brandon Sanderson, and it's amazing. The world's amazing. The characters are amazing. The magic system is amazing. It's great. And then last but not least, I picked up and finished a reread of The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. I will always love this book. I still love this book. Five out of five stars every single time. It's just, it's wonderful. It's the scenery in here is beautiful. The character growth is amazing. And yeah, it's wonderful and it always will be. So that's everything that I was able to read this week. I did complete four books, so I'm very happy with that. Um, as of right now, I have two more books on my October TBR that I need to complete, but it is only the 19th, so I have no fear. I'm pretty sure I will be able to complete them. So yeah, that's all for this vlog. I Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!